disorienting. All right, I guess it was just catching me again. All right, so hey everybody, Dave here from Dave Station VR, and I am playing Fantastic Contraption, which is a fun little sandbox kind of game that just came out today for PSVR. And uh, basically, you can see here I've got a little uh, thingy, a little block that I need to get into this area, and it's up to me to decide how I want to do that. So I've got some options here. I've got like a wheel, and I can change what directions it it goes in. And I've got, uh, I don't know what the difference, honestly, between these two pieces is. If anybody's watching, let me know. But I can stretch them out to my heart's content. These are going to be a lot of, like, structural integrity kind of deals. Then on the bottom of the cat here, I got a, uh, a little marble that you can use as a weight, which can be very helpful. I don't know what the hell these things do, but they're fun. The little cat bell. Great deal of fun. I don't think they have any purpose but they're musical, and uh, I enjoy them. So anyways, if you're just tuning in, this game is a fantastic contraption, and it just came out today for PSVR. It's about $20, and uh, I think there's a little bit of a discount if you are a PS Plus member, but it's been out on various platforms for a while here, and the deal is I have to build a little Tinker Toy-style contraption that will uh, knock over these blocks, get a guy into there, and uh, from there, it's up to me, so we'll see what I want here. I think uh, typically you want to build sort of like a forward-moving vehicle that has some kind of apparatus to, like, push over the thing in front of you or get the thing to wherever you need it. So there's quite a few stages in this. I think there might be, like, 50 stages or so. And I've only played a few so far. But uh, the ones that I played that were further along seemed very difficult, and I was not able to come up with a little gizmo to, to get them to work. So this one is like the, maybe the third or fourth stage, keeping it easy here. All right, so uh, if you hit the move button, your contraption just kind of moves forward. So at this point, you can see I may already win. No, I'm a little bit off. So uh, I need to do some refining to my uh, my thing here. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll add something that sort of like guides it toward the center instead of falling off to the side. So this game can only be played with the move controllers as far as I know. And uh, originally it was like a room scale game, so you could kind of walk around your thing and wherever you went it was fine. In this one, uh, to recenter the camera you have to hold a button for a while and it opens up this whole menu. It's kind of a How pain in the ass. How do you really get Dave? I never hear your space slur. Hey man, you know, I don't know how to describe how drunk I'm getting. Uh, people always tell me they can't tell when I'm drunk and I, it's, it's a blessing and a curse I guess because when, when I'm out here saying I'm drunk, I, I mean I am, but... What do you know? You don't know anything. All right, so, oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. So this thing needs some support. We're gonna get this thing shored up, make sure it stays where it's supposed to be. And uh, I don't know if this is gonna help at all. Probably not gonna help at all. It's probably gonna be uh, me just making a bunch of really terrible machines that don't accomplish anything. So uh, that's totally a possibility. It's totally an option in this game. You can fail as much as you want. I do appreciate the fun of just tinkering with stuff. Uh, it is pretty cool. Let's see what this does. Ooh boy, come on. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's my shit. That's my shit. Knock it over, knock it over. Oh yeah! Oh, I think we got this. And we got it. Alright, we just needed a little bit of guidance there. So I will say be careful hitting this little button, because next time I, last time I hit that button I got stuck in the tutorial stage. That might be a bug or something. I don't know. But when you beat a stage you can put this little helmet on. One uh, one gripe I have with this game a little bit is there's like a lot of judder. Like when you beat a stage or sometimes when you're loading up a stage, it gets really choppy. Uh, the frame rate takes a huge hit. Anyway, so you put on this helmet. This is, is kind of cool. Is this worth buying? Uh, I think it's worth buying if you like tinkering around with stuff and you think it would be fun to just like spend a while building your own things to solve a puzzle. Because it's really free form. You have total creative freedom to just like get the job done basically. So uh, let's try this stage. So what you just saw was like the level select and uh, when you put on that helmet at the end of a stage you can go into the level select and then you just grab it and pull it off 
and you're in the stage. So that's kind of a cool mechanic. I like that. This cat has all your business, like all your little items. You grab them and you pull what you need. Like I said, I don't know what the difference between a red one and a blue one is. And uh, these are used to like pop stuff you don't want anymore, so that's kind of cool. You got your marbles. Oop. One problem I have is uh, I always hit the move controllers against each other. Or okay, I can totally see a roller coaster builder working in VR using these same mechanics. Hey, that's a good idea. Whoever just dropped that idea, yo, develop a game. I would play that. Because Roller Coaster Dreams is not uh, not up to par. All right, so we're going to have to build a machine that's going to get uh, something. What do we need to move over there? Hold on. Oh, this guy. We need to move this guy, this little marble, into that block there. So I'm just going to start building one of my standard old little cars. And after a while, you kind of get a hang of how you build just a standard vehicle that moves forward. And then after that, you just sort of prototype it, figure out what works, what doesn't work. It's very much a tinkering game. Um, you know, it's not going to blow you away, but I've, I've uh, gotten sucked into it already. You can uh, get lost in it because... You know, you build something that doesn't work, you're like, ah, shit, well, I think I can do a little better than that, and you try it again. You know, you've got a limited set of options, but uh, it's just like having some connects or, you know, whatever you had when you were a kid. Alright, so, this thing is a little more streamlined than my typical, and maybe I'll give it one more support in the middle there. Is this going to move? Hey, hey, that thing's cooking. Oh, Okay. All right, I'm in business. So all I got to do is really just find a way to attach this to this existing thing, and I will be in business. So it's about that high up. I need to get this marble into the block. So set up a little structure on top. So for the most part, in my experience, the move support has felt pretty good. Um, occasionally, the tracking gets really out of whack. And uh, if you're in a situation where you want to recenter your view or like zoom in or zoom out, uh, you have to go to a whole separate menu and it, it kind of takes a minute. So it's not totally ideal. I wish there was a way to real time just zoom in and zoom out on the stage. But uh, as is, it's not too bad. Okay, come on, cat. I'm not trying to grab all that shit. I'm trying to grab you. Okay. All right. Wait, what happened to my little... Oh my god. Okay. Some nonsense happened over here. Oh, the pin fell on top of it. Okay. All right, we're all good there. Now, I'm gonna counterbalance it here. Let's see if that works. Come on, come on. Oh yeah, I got faith in this thing. Oh, yeah, it worked, technically. Yeah, technically it worked. All right, let's uh, jump to another stage. So you can see here, as you flip through, there's uh, different pages of stages, and you have six total, I think? So as you tap through, you get one, two, and I think, I'm assuming they go up in difficulty. Uh, like I said, I tried some of the later ones nice. and no clue what to do. So try this one out. Oh, hmm. We got to get this guy up here. That doesn't really seem like it should be that hard, right? But I'm not totally sure how we do that. What's my play area here? Wait, are you kidding? <laughs> I could just start it out inside the thing. Oh, it doesn't count. Okay. What if I just build a machine that sits inside of that? Or not even a machine, just like a structure. I feel like I'm cheating. But uh, we'll see if this is allowed. Let's kind of build a little TP here. Do I win? Oh, it's kind of walking on its own. No, I don't think I win. Okay, well, fair, fair enough. Uh, how the hell do you get that thing up there? Does that count as winning? Maybe it does. Well, I, <laughs> I'm gonna move on to the next stage. Because I feel like the only way I can beat that one is by cheating. Uh, wait, no, I want to go back the other way. No, the other way. 
Come on. Stage one, that's all I can handle. I just started. But so yeah, if you're just tuning in, this game is Thank uh you for all your PSVR testing. Oh. Left your team up video in Farpoint with Brian Paul. Oh thanks, yeah, hopefully we're gonna do more of those soon. Um but yeah, so if you're just tuning in, this game is Fantastic Contraption. It is a uh, kind of a build your own little mechanical object type deal. You have uh, these puzzles to solve. You got to get, uh, for instance, this little grape looking marble deal into one of these, or maybe all of them. I'm not even sure with this stage, who knows? Um, if it's all three of them, I'm probably screwed. But anyways, you have all these little tools to play with. Uh, you've got weights, wheels, structural objects, and you can just drag them around to your heart's content. It's a, it's a fun little sandbox game, and it's, uh, it's really, you know, there's no goal, there's no objective. You just pick a stage that you want after you're done with the tutorial, and you try and beat it. And if you can't, you just go to a different one. So I don't know what I'm building here. I'm just going to build a stupid thing and see what it does. What do we got? Okay, I didn't even connect that. Give it a little bit more meat here. Come on. Alright, I want like a, a ton of wheels on this thing. Strangely satisfying to just tinker around with all the little nonsense in this game. Uh, even when you're not building anything constructive. Uh, it's kind of nostalgic. It feels like being a kid and uh, fooling around with connects or Legos or something Are like all that. Of the stages unlocked from the beginning? So you have to play through like one tutorial stage, maybe two tutorial stages. And then uh, after that, yeah, you can, you can play any stage you want. And they're uh, divided up into like six different pages of stages. This is not looking very good here. I don't think this is going to work. Eh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> that thing fell right off. How's the immersion? Um, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm standing over this little thing, and when you grab the helmet and you put it on, you're in a whole different world. Uh, like I said, there's quite a bit of judder. Like, I don't know if you can tell on the stream, but like, as I move my head around, it's real choppy when I'm in the the uh, that mode or whatever. What a stupid machine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I have to go into one of three or all of three. But this uh, this machine, as you can tell, is very very dumb, and it's not going to get anything accomplished. Although it looks like it's kind of rolling up that wall. Mm, keep going, keep going. All right, never mind. I give up on that one. Ooh, maybe if I just move it. Sometimes just moving your contraption is all you need to does do. Does the choppy menu In that make case, you feel uh, any discomfort? Uh, occasionally it does. I will say it does make me feel a little bit wonky sometimes. I'm not gonna play that stage anymore. I think I may actually be terrible at this game. Uh, any stage I'm playing beyond like the first few seems to be oh this is the one i just played god damn it okay eh, boo, 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 boo. we'll try this guy okay so we gotta knock this thing and this thing down into there all right that's that's something i think i can do so uh start off a little uh controls pretty guy solid here Controls are pretty solid, fun. and uh, it's fun in a sort of low-key way. Like, it's not going to blow your mind, but um, why can't I get this to go the way that I want it to? Okay, so now my actual, actually my move support is getting a little wonky here, so let me move around a little bit. Uh, I want you to go... What is the problem here? All right, get out of here. Will they only go one direction? Okay, I guess they only go one direction in this one. Uh, well, I'm going to build myself like a motorcycle. 
two-wheeler here. I feel like somebody definitely just asked me a question, and I don't remember what it was. Does the tutorial walk you through properly how to build basic builds? Not much. I will say not much. Um, it took me a decent amount of messing around with it to figure out what I was doing. Why doesn't this thing go the way that I want it to? Okay, I want you to go... No, Are don't, you sitting or don't go that way. Don't go that way, you dumb little thing. Okay, look, you're supposed to be able to take these guys... Get out of here, get out of here. And flip them over. And then, uh... Then they go the other way. Why the, f why the fuck isn't that working? Am I crazy? That's usually the way it works. Alright, well, uh... Maybe, uh, maybe something's going wrong here. Whoa! Whoa! I'm supposed to be in the- alright. Thought I was in the helmet. Ooh, oof! Whoa, what is going on here? Alright, that's a little glitchy. Eh, duh, 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 duh. There's some rough edges on this game, but overall it's pretty, pretty solid core concept. It's pretty fun. Does option work for recentering? Uh, it- it gets really weird when you use the options button to recenter. So if I'll show you here. If I'm holding the options button, first my stuff flies into space and then I everything disappears and then I'm back where I'm supposed to be. So it, it eventually works, but it's got some wonkiness to it. All right, so for this one, this is one of the first few stages. This will be a good one to show you. Um, so is this gonna work the way I want it to? So now it's working the way it's supposed to. Maybe that other stage had like a restriction on wheels moving a certain way, or maybe it was just glitched out. Who knows? So I realized pretty much this whole video is just be me building little cars, little stupid cars. But uh, that is kind of what the game is. Um, I guess at a certain point you have to build some pretty elaborate, fantastic contraptions, as they say, to, um, to get the job done. But I'm not there yet. So I think you could probably get quite a bit out of this game, because, you know, I've only played a few stages so far, but... Um, it takes a while to build something that actually works. And uh, it's not tedious, really. I mean, you're having a good time the whole time you're doing it. But um, to beat every single stage would be quite an achievement. It would take a little bit of time. All right, so I'm going to try and just drive this guy in here on the middle of uh, the lattice. Is this going to work? How many things can I connect to this? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Should work. Oh, that didn't work at all. Jesus Christ. I don't think there is a limit that I've found yet. Jeez, I didn't connect anything to anything. And I think there are some structural integrity issues here. Let's give it some some supports. Is that gonna work? <laughs> sort of. Hey, sort of. If I just move it over a little bit, it might work. Let's give this little thing a shot. I love you, buddy. You're great. Don't let anybody say anything bad about you. You won the stage. You did a great job. Lovely. That's the kind of dumb machine I like to build. All right. Uh, I'll do one more here before I wrap it up. All right, so this needs to go there. That should be doable. Just need a uh, contraption that goes this way. Wait this way to kind of push it along. I think this should be pretty easy, actually. So as far as the tutorial goes, somebody asked if it explains everything to you. Uh, not really. It kind of lets you figure it out yourself. Um, there's not a whole lot of guidance. But it's fine. It's not too difficult to, to get a hang of. I, do, I still do not know if there's any difference between these red beams and the blue beams so if so anybody knows that your oh. usual poison my usual poison i have all kinds of usual poisons um tonight i've had let's see i've had a sour monkey which is like a nine percent like sour belgian beer i'm 
Uh, this thing called Wolf something IPA. What is it? Wolf Among Weeds IPA. That's pretty good. Uh, and then I'm <laughs> drinking a Mike's Harder Cranberry Lemonade. And uh, I've had maybe is a shock top. Is this game worth it? Would you say it is worth it? I think it is worth it. There's some gripes. Like I said, um, I'll show you here. In order to resize the scale of the room, you have to hold the square button for three seconds. And it takes you into the separate menu that doesn't show you the actual stage you're playing on. It just shows you like a random reference stage. And then you can grab it and resize it which is useful, but um, if this was actually in the game while I was playing, that would be way more helpful. So you can kind of spin it around, you know, to your liking, but you don't really know uh, where you'll be on the stage you're actually playing when you get back. So that's kind of unfortunate. Um, so the, the thing about the scale is occasionally not great. Um, there's a few buttons, like square and circle seem to adjust the scale, but I don't know how. Like, it seems like they just sort of randomly move me inside of things and above things, and I don't really know what the, what the deal is. So uh, that's, whatever that is, it's not particularly well implemented. What happened to my, uh, my contraption I was building? I was in the mid middle of building stuff. All right, well. But yeah, I think it's worth it. There's a, there's a few little minor issues, but uh, if you like tinkering around with stuff and building your own solutions to uh, to a certain scenario, you know, like it's it's a fun little puzzle game, and it allows for a the lot of creativity. Fucking cat! I knew there was something up with that cat. What game are you looking forward to the most? Hmm. Oh, Super Hot. Super Hot VR is going to be great, I hope, because I've heard really good things about it on other VR platforms, and uh, the regular Super Hot is one of my favorite games. It's real, real fun. So if they make that work on PSVR, I'm going to be one happy camper. I'm definitely looking forward to that. That's like next week, too. All right, so here's my, here's my plan. I'm going to build... See if you follow me here. I'm gonna build a little contraption the stick can move through other objects. that goes off to the right. Wait, it can move through other objects? Hey, somebody knows something about this. Okay, cool. They never explained that to me in the game. Uh, so that's one thing about the tutorial that kind of missed opportunity there. Yes, the wooden stick can. Why would you ever use the wooden stick? Uh, I guess sometimes you do want to bump up against stuff. Eh, it makes sense. It makes sense. All right, so we are going to have a contraption here off to the side. Like, almost like a crane. I'm thinking we build a crane. Yeah, let's build a crane. Okay. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work at all. I have, I have no clue if this is going to work. Some structural support. This might just work. Gonna need some supports. Oh yeah, no, I got it. It's all under control. I am not a structural engineer, but I think I'm onto something. the way you uh, design a crane? I think I've seen a crane before. All right. Okay, and then hanging off of this, we Within got our... Manual.pdf. Well, you think that'll be enough to, to knock it off? Hold on. Oh god, get out, get this thing out of here. Oh god, how do you, uh... I forgot how to disconnect something. Ah, okay, if you grab a thing and you hold the uh, square button, I think. Is that square? Let me check. It is the X button. Don't listen to me. You can disconnect it. That's what I was trying to do. Uh, get this guy over here. I have no clue what this is going to do. No, it fell apart. That's not at all what I was hoping for. Uh, okay, well maybe I need some some weights. Oh, don't pop my shit! 
Damn it, cat. Didn't mean to grab that. Alright. No, that's not good at all. Oh, it needs, uh, needs this thing. Oh, wait. There's nothing that could hold this shit up. It's not structurally sound at all. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I can just build something that sort of already sits on the edge of this platform and then crawls along slowly using the platform as uh, support. No. Wait. No. Wait. Come on, you dumb... Come on, you dumb thing. That laugh was so sinister. Oh my god, do it! Fucking work! Put diagonal from the upper left to the lower right. Like this? Oh. Oh. No, it's not working. I think this machine is doomed to fail. I don't think this particular one is going to make any progress. But I'm just going to keep making it more stupid until it eventually works. Because that has paid off for me once or twice. Let's put this way out here. That'll be that'll be helpful, right? For the overall design. Hey, you know what? It kind of was. I think this stuff is maybe getting in the way a little bit. Or it should be more like... This. Yeah. No, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, let's do this like this. Come on. It's just gonna go off the side every single time. I'm not. I'm not uh, onto anything here. Can I drop it right there? Hey, climb that. Climb that. Nope. All right, buddy. You can do this. You can do this, buddy. You can do this. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, you were so close. I believe in you. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. It's a little less close that time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Bingo! Hey, that's a fantastic contraption. Look at it go. Look at it go. This is the saddest robot. <laughs> well, even a sad robot can get the art. job done. Drunken art, I might add. Hey. So, uh, let's see, where's my helmet? Ah, here's my helmet. Oh, it's got a nice little uh, worker's cap on it. So I don't know what throwing stuff in here does. Maybe when you've got your contraptions. So you can save contraptions. View contraptions. Wait, I want to do that. Let me view my contraptions. Oh. Is it going to let me view my, my existing ones that I've already created? Let's see how this works. There's nothing here. Okay. Where are my contraptions? Oh, I have none. Why didn't it show me that before? All right, well, apparently you can save your contra contraptions. Uh, that's kind of weird. All right, so there's some glitchiness when you're switching between level select and your contraptions. But uh, anyways, <laughs> I think you've probably gotten a good idea of what this game is at this point. And uh, I think, you know, my perspective is it's about 20 bucks. It's got some, some Make a lot of rough edges. Triangles are the strongest and uh, structure. there's no real... Can you load contraptions between levels? You can load contraptions between levels if you save them. But I'm not totally sure how to save them. I'm sure it tells you, and I probably just didn't like pay save attention. Like frame and then use it repeatedly? Yeah, I think you can do that, actually. That would be a pretty solid idea. Then I wouldn't have to build that basic structure every time. But, uh... Overall, I think for 18 bucks, the, the PS Plus price right now, or 20 bucks, this is a good little thing to play around with if it seems interesting to you. Um, there's a couple issues here and there. Um, they didn't really nail the room scale. Uh, of course, PSVR can't do room scale, but not being able to adjust uh, the size in real time is kind of a, eh, it's kind of a downfall. Oh, Having to go into the other menu. I want super hot right now. I want super hot right now, too. But we'll have to wait one more week. But uh, this, in the meantime, is, is pretty fun. I think uh, it's worth a shot. And uh, thanks for watching. And have a good night, guys.